Hello and welcome. In this video we'll perform a linear regression without using frameworks and afterwards comparing it with using frameworks such as sklearn. First of all let's take a look at the regression equation. We have a y which is the dependent variable defined as the slope times the independent variable plus b. So the whole point of doing a linear regression is that you want to have those two features here or parameters, which are the slope and the intercept. And if you have those, you can just provide a value for x and get a prediction for y. Okay? So your goal is to give the algorithm an input and get a prediction as an output. So we will work with a certain data set from Kaggle. I will link that in the video description. I already imported pandas here and read in the CSV. First of all, let's take a look at this data frame. So we are just printing it out and we are getting like 10,000 rows and gender column, height column and a weight column. Now I want to slice this data frame a bit. So I just want to do a prediction model containing of height and weight. And I want to get rid of this dummy variable here, gender. So I'm just slicing this data frame and I'm focusing on one gender. So let's actually do that. Let's just slice this data frame by defining a Boolean mass here, gender. And we're just interested in the females here. So if we are doing that and printing out this data frame again, we are getting what we wanted to get. And that is this data frame only containing of the heights and weights of females. The next step is to define the independent and the dependent variable. The dependent variable is the variable which you want to predict and the independent is the variable which you want to provide. So let's actually do that. Let's define x as, and we're just using the data frame and take the weights. Now we define the dependent variable. So we're just using the height and we have done that. Now let's actually visualize that to see what is going on here. And did I import matplotlib? No, I didn't. So let's actually do that. Let's import matplotlib.pyplotsplt. So now let's visualize that by using a scatter plot. And we are providing x and y here. And we are getting this nice scatter plot here. So the x-axis again is containing the weight and the y-axis is containing the height. Now our goal is to fit a line between those points here to get a nice prediction line so that we can provide a value for x, so that is our weight, and we are getting a value for our height here. Now, how can we do that without using frameworks? We need to go through four steps and let's quickly go through them together and then we'll do it step by step. So the first step is to calculate S as XX. That is the sum of squares of the X. So that is just the difference between the average X and every single X value. So as we saw, we have like, I think 5,000 rows. So we need to subtract 5,000 X from the average X. Afterwards, we have to square that and again, take the sum of all differences. The second step is to calculate SSXY. And SSXY is the difference again between the average X and every single X value times, and now we need the average Y minus the Y values. So again, we need 5,000 calculations here and afterwards take the sum of that. And to actually get the slope, so let's zoom out here, so that is the slope, we just need to divide this SSXY by the SSXX, and we have the slope of our regression line. It's as easy as that. And after that, we have to get the intercept, and the intercept B is just defined as the average Y minus M times the average X, okay? So we got the M, from the previous step and then we have the intercept. Now let's do that step by step together. Let's start with calculating SSXX. So the first step we need the mean of X, right? So we are just defining X mean here and we need 
to use x dot mean. So that is just x again, it's just our weights here. So that is the data frame. And we can use the mean function here. And that is what we're doing now. And let's actually print that out. So we have a mean weight of 135 here, right? Now the next step is to get the differences for every single row. So how can we do that? We are just defining a new column here. So I'm just naming that div x. And we are defining that as it's written down here. So we are just using x mean minus every single x. So we are just using minus x here. Let's execute that. And let's actually print out the data frame to see what we got here. So this column here, which we just created, div x, is just every value of x. So that is our x values, weight. And this is just every value subtracted from the mean of x. So the mean again is 135. Let's say an example, 135 minus 102 is 33 here. Okay, and that's done for every single row here. So that is our div x column. Our next step is to square those differences now. So we are creating a new column here because we need this for the next step. So I'm just not squaring this column and overwriting that, but I'm defining a new column here. So I'm just using div x squared and I'm just using div x here and squaring that whole column. So let's execute that. And now for getting our SSXX, so this one here, we just need one more step. And that is just, let's define that as SSXX. And we are defining that as the squared column and we are just summing up this whole column. So we are just using div x underscore squared dot sum. Done, we have determined our SSXX. Let's define SSXY now. And we already got this part of this equation, right? That is just div x. Now we need to define div y here. And that is basically the same syntax as this one here. So we are defining y mean first by just using the same logic as above. So we are just using the mean function of the y variable, which is the height data frame or the height column of this data frame. Now we have our y mean. And we're doing the same thing again as above here. So I'm just copy pasting this and use y here, use the y mean here and subtract every y value. And now it's a bit different. We need to multiply the div x times the div y and take the sum out of that. So we are just directly defining ss xy here and we just use parentheses to define df and then we're just using def, div x times um, df dot div y and we are taking the sum out of that so if we are executing that we got our s as x y now we have everything what we need to get the slope of this regression line so if we are taking a look at this one here we just have to divide SSXY by SSXX. So that is what we're doing here. So we're just using this simple syntax here. And we got our slope of the regression line done. Now that we got the slope, we can easily define our intercept or determine our intercept B of the regression line. That is done by this formula here. So we are just applying that. So we are just using y mean minus m times x mean here and that's it that's our intercept here so this is the intercept value and now it's time to predict some values so therefore i'm defining a prediction function here so i'm just using predict and take a value as an argument and inside this function i'm defining a variable predict and I'm just using, again, our regression function, which we have above here. So that is m times x plus b. So I'm just defining m times x plus b here. And for this x, 
I'm taking my value. So I can provide a value and get a prediction for this value. So of course I have to return this predict variable afterwards. So if I'm executing that, I can play a bit around and doing some nice predictions. So let's use this prediction function and provide a weight value of like 140 pounds and see how tall a woman is who is weighing 140 pounds according to this prediction. And that is 64 inches. So another example would be like 150 and we have 65 inches. So pretty nice, right? Now, we could do the following thing additionally, and that is plotting our prediction line, okay? So let's get back to the scatter plot, and now let's just add a line plot here. So we are just plotting x, and now we are just plotting this regression line equation here. So that is m times x plus b, oh, plus b. So if we're executing that, and yeah, that's of course not good. So we have to define another color here. And now as you see, we have our regression line, okay? So again, just to make that clear, if I want to have an input here for the weight of a certain person, so I'm providing weight of 140, then I'm going on this regression line and read the value on the y-axis. So this is how it works, okay? Now, okay, we have done everything what we had to do to perform a linear regression without using a framework like sklearn. But did we do right? Well, we can only find out by applying sklearn. So let's actually do that and compare our results with sklearn. Therefore, let's actually get our results again. So our slope was 0.12, our intercept was 47.34, and we have a prediction function here, so we have a predicted value. So let's do that all with sklearn. So we are using from sklearn import, I think it's linear model, and I'm defining my model as linear model, and then we are using linear regression. I think it's written like that. And now we just need to fit the model and use our x and y variable here. And this is not working. Ah, I know, yeah, that's that's a kind of hard stuff with sklearn. You have to provide the input like this. So I have to amend this here with like two squared brackets for the um, independent variable. So you have to do these amendments here. Let's execute that and now let's go back and execute that again. Yes, this is working now. And now we want to get the coefficients of this regression line. So if we're executing that, we are getting the slope. And this is exactly the same as our value. So we did perfectly, right? So we have this coefficient here. But as you see, so these are just two lines or three lines of code and this is a whole pain, right? So this is the big advantage of those um, frameworks. They're just faster, they're more efficient. And I think it's a pretty nice thing to understand what's going on here. So that is what this video is about, by the way. But enough talking, let's take a look at the intercept. We're getting 47.34, and that is exactly what we attained. Now let's actually use this to predict some stuff. And again, we need those two squared brackets for sklearn and we are comparing that with our prediction of 150. So we should get the exact same value here. We are getting 65.41 and that is what we got here. So as you see, you can perform linear regression without using frameworks but they are just a more comfortable way or a more convenient way, you know? Yeah, I hope you liked this video. In case you did, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'm looking forward to do some additional videos like that, if you like it. If you just don't care, I won't do it. So I'm planning on a video on doing this same procedure with the R squared. So let's actually take a look at the R squared here. So that is model 
score. So yeah, of course, we have to provide x and y as the arguments here. And we have an R squared of 0 0.72. And you can actually do that by hand as well. If you are interested, like this video, subscribe this channel that I can see if you are interested in that. So we can do the same procedure by hand again to get the R squared. Thank you all for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye bye.